Politicians and residents of the controversial Mau Forest settlement have literally found themselves between a rock and a hard place over the impending second phase of the Mau evictions amid heated exchange over the planned evictions. <laughs> Narok Governor Samuel Tunai, who has largely remained silent since the government asked illegal settlers to leave the forest, has now joined the fray, terming it a sensitive matter that needs to be handled carefully. We are going to have further consultation, for me, further meetings, so that, uh, as I've said, that uh, we'll want to see how this issue is resolved once and for all. And I did tell you that time that what we're looking for is a win-win situation. Tunai, who chaired a crisis meeting with elected leaders from Narok County, spoke barely a day after government spokesman, retired Colonel Saira Zoguna, maintained the evictions will continue despite protest from a section of Rift Valley leaders. But according to Tunai and leaders who attended the meeting, the politicization of the planned evictions is likely to destabilize the fragile peace that has persisted in the area. We will talk, uh, we will uh, consult um, <coughs> broadly within the government and within our own uh, people to get the solution. We want to really request you to restrain from making statements that can lead to, uh, 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 you know, uh, people are unrest. The Narok leaders spoke as leaders who accompanied Deputy President William Ruto at the barrier of former KCC Director Kibuot Koros in Cherenganya said the eviction should be carried out in a humane manner to avoid a crisis. You are not elected as a member of parliament to go and be hired by another person to insult leadership. The politics and confusion intensified as residents of Mau remained optimistic that the government will find a lasting solution to the perennial crisis that has left them living on the edge. The tussle over the Mao forest eviction is far from over as politicians continue to pull in different directions, even as the government insists that the exercise will go on as planned. But who will blink first in the push and pull? Daniel Karioki, K24 TV.